Well, I feel like another one of the kids has come back to the nest. This is Mark's 2003 Tacoma. We built this thing approximately 10 years ago. It was basically one of the trucks that we designed our production Tacoma solid axle kit off of. Um, this truck has 122,000 miles on it. One of my favorite trucks still. Uh, Mark bought it brand new, so it's been in his family forever. And uh, he still drives it almost every weekend. He keeps it on the ranch, hauls stuff. Uh, I came back this time for a winch in the front bumper and to put a put a e-locker in the front axle as well. So he's using it hard enough where he needs front and rear lockers. Uh, the backstory on this truck, it is the ideal truck. This is a 3.4 V6 manual five speed extended cab white, of course my favorite. So it was the perfect candidate back then for him to do the solid axle swap. So when we first did this, we used 10 inch King coilovers, two and a half on this truck, and it sat up about three inches higher than it does right now. So about four years ago, it came back to the shop and we went ahead and put eight inch Kings in there. You can see them tucked in there. You can see our uh, shock tower in there and our radius arm kit. So one of the things, in order to get it lower, we had to go with shorter shocks, but we also had to mess with some of the bracketry because it is stupid low. It has about three inches of up travel in the front. And then in the rear here, it just has um, two inch aftermarket replacement springs. So basically like a two inch lift. Um, but in the front, when we put the eight inch springs in and tried to get that new cool low look with the 35 inch KM3s and the 17 inch Pro Comp old school 1079 wheels, um, we had to do a little bit of work underneath here on our kit. Uh, so to start with, we really put a bunch of bends in the track bar. So it barely clears the diff. And then it has another bend here to clear the oil pan when the suspension comes up. You can also see the tie rod down really low here to get enough clearance from the tie rod up to the pitman arm so that when you hit bumps, the uh, tie rod doesn't slam the pitman arm and your suspension travels. So while we're underneath here, I'll... Uh, let you guys know exactly what axle this is because it is a pretty cool axle. So if you look right up in there, you can see an old leaf spring perch on that axle uh, cast into the housing before we welded our race arm mounts on. Well, that's because this front axle came from a two year only truck. So in 1978 and 1979, Ford had a three quarter ton eight lug Dana 44 in the front with leaf springs. So this is a 78 79 Ford F250 front housing that we then put Chevy knuckles and outers on it. So if you look over here, you can see just standard Chevy six bolt spindles with our crossover steering arm and the tie rod down low in the factory Chevy location. So this allowed us to make this truck six lug. So it had a donor 78 79 front axle from a Ford, another donor axle from a 71 to 87 uh, GM where we used all the outers and then we kind of slapped it all together 488 gears front and rear and we just put an Eaton e-locker in the front and it has the factory TRD locker in the rear with two inch wheel spacers. That's the other thing is this is a full width F250 Dana 44 front and then the wheels are 17 by nine four and a half inch back spacing so basically zero offset. So when you look down the side of the truck tires and wheels don't stick out much at all so it's really clean looking. Um, the other thing that kind of makes this truck old school and clean is the ARB front bumper. So normally I'm not a fan of big heavy front bumpers, but on this vintage of Tacoma, the ARB bumper fits really nice, wraps around, and it does allow you to stuff a winch inside here. So he just finally had the, uh, the money and the time. We put a Warren M8000 inside that ARB front bumper. Like I said, upgraded the front e-locker kind of just went through everything, check bushings, grease things, drivability, the truck drives amazing. I mean, it feels like a go-kart. The five speed, three, four, 488s, 35 inch tires, like the ultimate package. Um, kind of sneak in here, you can see some of our radius arm kit. So the radius arm brackets just weld onto the axle housing. Here's the radius arm. 
And then this is uh, one of the earliest versions of our three-piece Tacoma cross member. And if you sneak up in there and look, you can see the factory drive shaft still mounted going to that high pinion front axle. Uh, and the rear drive shaft is factory as well. So really no drive shaft mods when this went together. And this was a non-ABS truck, being that it was a five-speed manual. So no lights on the dash. It is just hop in it and drive it every day. So one of the ultimate solid axle sleeper clean WFO trucks. The only thing that could make this thing better is if he did uh, an Atlas or dual cases in it. It's still stock case, no low gearing and four low besides the factory ratio. So thanks for bringing it back to us, Mark, and can't wait to see it on the next one. Hope you liked this truck.